Welcome to Power Your Life Today. I'm Christy Joe, mind and body strategist. Today I want to help you stop being weak-minded and not finishing what you start. I know what it's like to want to give up, to just say this is too much, this isn't for me. How many times have you weighed this white flag of surrender? No, no more. You're going to follow through. You're going to finish what you start. You're going to be strong because here's the thing is you only have two choices. You either choose weakness or you choose strength. So let's talk about how you can do this. But before we go into some of these takeaways and what I want you to start doing, think about it like this. It's like a big ship is in a harbor and all the passengers are loading it. This is when you're in the goal setting phase and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Maybe you're in a new relationship. Maybe you just got married. Maybe you've been married for 10 years. Maybe you uh, have started a business. Maybe you're trying to endure running your own business. Maybe you are in the thick of getting your education. Maybe you're trying to learn a new language or continue a hobby, get better at anything. Whenever you're just like, you're going towards it and you feel like, yeah, this is just too much. I'm out. Mm -mm. Okay, so the people are loading the ship. Your ship is this goal and you're in the harbor. Everything is ready. All the people are prepared. The food is prepared. You're ready to go. And then as you're making your way through the calm waters and you're getting towards the breakwaters, you look out and see those waves and you see that it's probably not that safe. And what happens is you turn back to the harbor where it's safe, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like how many times have you done that? This is what is going to keep you going and saying, yes, I realize there's some dangerous waters out there, but ships were made to go out in that. They're sturdy, they're strong, but not if they're full of fear. So you need to be strong. We're gonna choose strength. Here's a few things you can do. Number one, hopefully you're showering every day. This is a good time to do something called personal positive affirmations. An affirmation is a statement, we could call it a declaration, where you are saying, I am blank, I am blank, I can blink. So here's a few things. Let's say you're struggling with um, a relationship and you're wanting to call quits on it and you shouldn't call quits on it. I love this person. I am a good lover. I am a trusting person. I am committed to my spouse. Uh, What about in a business? I am a great business owner. I am a, a thriving thinker. I capitalize on opportunities. I am creative. I take every opportunity possible. So you're filling your mind with all these things that you are and that you can do, and that gets programmed into the automaticity of what you think. Now you can even go a step further you can think about those affirmations and write them down on a three by five card. I love three by five cards because they're so easy to carry in your wallet. I put them in the console of my car so while I drive, I can just pull it out and look at it and just, it's all about programming. What are you getting in your brain repeatedly? You can put them on your bedside table. You've gotta come up with something that's going to remind you of all these positive things of what you can, or what you are and what you can do. So um, I want to tell you about one of the girls I'm, I'm actually coaching right now. I've coached her for about two years in nutrition and fitness. And uh, in some phases, we're really just focusing on mindset and awareness of her body and compassion. And there's a certain phase for that. And uh, about a month ago, we got to a point where I said, you know what, sweetheart? I need you to go to underground mode and I need you to focus because we're at the point of, of no turning back. You're either going to go hard for this or you're not going to make a change and you're going to give up. You're going to turn back towards those safe, those safe waters. And there's no success for you in that. So to push her to the next level, this is what I told her. You have to be more willing to cut off your hand than to deviate from the strategy of what you must do to make your goal happen. And I think this hit her pretty hard because every day she sends me an audio message in the evening to tell me about her day. And she tells me, I am more willing to cut off my hand than to deviate. I am committed. I choose strength. I choose power. This girl is on fire. Her body is changing. And so this can be applied, as you see, in in body, in relationships, in business, you name it. But it's a choice. You have two choices, strength or weakness. Are you going to give up? Are you going to go back to the safe waters? Are you going to plow forward? You can't choose halfway. So this is about you 
being strong-minded. Don't be weak. Don't be weak. It is easy to be weak. It takes power to be strong, and that's what you're here for. And I know you can do it. So today, choose strength and power your life. Thanks for watching. If this resonated with you, please share it with one person who comes to mind. Investing in yourself is the best investment you're ever going to make because when you improve your life, everybody around you improves their lives too. Subscribe to this channel so you are really sure to catch our next power session together so you can continue to power your life to one of more service, value, and love. Until then, power your life today.